Intriguing problem that I want to illustrate just with a numerical example. Uh, we're going to let n equals 1. Again, many would call this a trivial example of what the problem is asking. n equals 1, and we'll choose m equals to 99. Okay, force fit this thing. All right, now you can see here that uh, m minus n is certainly 98, which is what the problem is, one of the conditions of the problem, m minus n is equal to 98. But the product is equal to 99, which is, we're looking at, we want to look at this a slightly more general way, but this is a, a trivial um, special case, two-digit version of it, and, and of course mn is equal to 99. So you see already we're done with the problem if you want to think of it the way the, way the problem is worded. We finished the problem. We found an example done off to the next problem. But the question is, are there other uh, larger digit numbers that would enjoy this same property? And that's what we're going to look at today. And it's, it's very intriguing. I, I like the problem quite a bit. So again, we have a special case of what the problem actually states. Okay. Now, uh, so this part here about it has digits equal to nine. And we can, let's take a look at that a little more carefully. Uh, Notice that 10 raised to the first minus 1 is certainly equal to 9, right? And then uh, 10 squared uh, minus 1 is 99. Of course, you see what's going on here. I'll just write one more example. 10 cubed uh, minus 1 is 3 nines. And so you can see this pattern definitely is going to continue uh, ad infinitum for all the natural numbers. All right. And so that leads to an approach here that will help us answer the question, are there other instances of this type of problem other than the two-digit case here? Now let's move on down. So uh, this first step's a little confusing. Way Tan at Coco talked about exploiting the symmetry right here. Notice that if you do n minus m here for th these assignments, n minus m, you do get 98. n minus m is certainly 98, which meets the first condition of the problem. Okay, n minus m is equal to 98 for sure. And again, we're doing a symmetry thing. We're going to get a difference of two squares going on, and the problem works out very nicely. And also, the product uh, has to be equal to uh, something of this form. 10 raised to the j, and j, of course, is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, it's j, the j's are natural numbers, okay? And notice that the, we use the difference of two, uh, two squares result. m minus n is equal to x squared minus 49 squared. The, the middle terms cancel out. And so you can rewrite this as x squared equal 10 to the j plus 2400, which you'll notice is a multiple of 100, not 10, you know. So we got this circumstance here where we can just go through and check the j's and see if we get another circumstance that's similar to this two-digit situation that we discovered up here trivially, okay. So now notice that the second case, j equals 2, is what gets the job, and you get m equals 1 and n is equal to 99. Uh, x squared is equal to 2,500. That means x is equal to 50, right? And so uh, this would be 50 minus 1 right here, and this would be 50 plus 49. See, so the x is in the middle of the two numbers, right? And, and so we get x squared is, uh, we get x is 50, and that leads to the trivial one that we noted. Now we keep going. Let's try others. Uh, 3, 3,400 is certainly not a perfect square, okay? Uh, one th you have to check all this stuff, but x squared is not a perfect square. But you get down here, and if you do the prime factorization, you'll notice that this number, uh, however you say this number, is at 102,400. 102,400 turns out to be a perfect square owing to this prime factorization. Notice that 2 to the 5th squared is 2 to the 10th with 1,024, and 10 squared is 100, okay? And so uh, what we get right here is uh, we would get, let me just come underneath here, I did, the, I did the math for you, but we would get uh, x is equal to 320.
320, okay? And so uh, M, M is the way we set up, uh, M is X minus 49, right? We chose arbitrarily M to be X minus 49 and N to be the larger number. So what we'll do right here, do I, am I gonna keep it on the screen? Yeah, sure. Uh, so we have uh, 320, right here this would be 320 minus 49. Right there, 320 minus 49 is the 271 that you see. Okay, and then this piece right here, of course, is 320 plus 49. Okay, so we have found another instance of this happening, and it's going to be a five-digit uh, number. Okay. Now, y'all notice the work, we're really done with the work, but if you must know, uh, I mean, we, we've, we've proven it, although a lot of people want to see it. Uh, MN is, again, you can do it manually if you want, but MN is equal to 90, 99,999. Now, I don't know, some people like to put commas for readability. We'll, okay, so we'll do nine. Okay, okay, folks. So we've done it, folks. Uh, now, again, the question, this, um, this would be the so-called answer I was looking for right here. But the way the question is worded, you don't know if it's unique or not. You see that I need to come up with a better way to word this. Find M and N. That suggests that M and N are unique. Well, we found two instances here, the trivial case 1 and 99, okay? But we've also found this other case, which I would call non-trivial. You have to uh, do some nice work. With, and Wei Tan is the one that thought of this idea. I never would have thought of it myself. It was a guess problem on the SMO, but he thought of this idea. And so he turns the problem into a problem that's equivalent to determining if there's a 10 to the J plus 2400 that is a perfect square. And if there is, then you know you're going to have a, another solution. So I don't know if, the, if we're done. You know, you might, you might get the impression it would happen for, you notice it, we went from two with the case working to five. You might think that maybe J equals eight. I haven't checked it. I kind of get the impression that this is it, but I haven't proved it rigorously. But anyway, we, there were two solutions that I could find, namely the non-trivial case, this one, and then the trivial case, this one. Hope you guys enjoy.